Say hi. Um, so Isaac's about to go down for his first nap. He's getting a bit cranky at the moment. So I'll just set up the glow dreaming and um, then we'll get him ready for a nap. And then I've got an appointment and PT this morning. So Cam will be looking after him while I head off to that. Um, so I'll just show you how we set that up for his first nap of the day. So don't mind the mobile playing in the background. Keeps him happy while I set everything up for his nap. So got the glow dreaming down here. Um, we just push the light button once. And the sound once and I don't put the eye on for his naps I don't worry about it but I always put it on um, in the evenings and we always use the oil as well in the evenings but yeah, so we just put on that setting for his nap and I'll go get it ready now for him to go down Ruby, say hi to the gram. <laughs> Are you gonna have a sleep today? <laughs> Are you gonna? <laughs> he only slept for 35 minutes earlier when Cam and, oh, yeah, Cam put him down. I was like, oh, usually it's like two to three hours, but oh well. We'll see how he goes this afternoon. So Isaac slept through from pretty much like five weeks old until four months um, every single night. And then he did go through a four month sleep regression kind of thing. And it's kind of still going. He, some nights he'll sleep through and other nights he'll wake a few times. Um, we don't really have many tips as such. We kind of, we, he doesn't self settle. So we would have to rock him back to sleep. So we just use the rocking chair. Um, sometimes that would take quite a bit, but the glow dreaming's always helped as well because he's used to having the glow dreaming on. Um, we have noticed that we do know it definitely works for him because one night the power went out and it cut off and within like 20 minutes he was awake and we've tested it other times and he always wakes up if it turns off. As well. Otherwise we made sure we got into a habit of um, making sure he knew the difference between day and night. So daytime he gets swaddled, nighttime he goes in a sleeping bag with arms out so he knows the difference. Um, but yeah, otherwise it's, it's just a hard time, I guess. The stool is from Kmart. I'm pretty sure it's like a children's stool, like to sit on, but yeah, it's perfect size for the glow dreaming to sit on too. Yeah. We started using the glow dreaming the day we came home from hospital. So he's been using it. Yeah. Pretty much from birth. Um, and there's not been one night that we've not used it since he started, which is, it's just, yeah, he needs it now. So we're used to it. So as a newborn, he slept quite a bit as they all do. Then I think at about two months old or three months old, he started to not sleep at all during the day for me pretty much unless he was on me, which was really hard. And that was a supply issue, I think, because I was breastfeeding. So as soon as I started mix feeding, because sometimes I'd feed up to 13 times a day and he still wouldn't nap. Um, as soon as I started mix feeding, adding a bottle in or a day, he would have his naps. And so that was perfect. And I only stopped feeding a few weeks ago. So now he's fully on bottles, but um, he's getting the sleep he needs, so I'm happy with that. Oops, back he wants his toys. Um, yeah, so as long as he's gaining weight and he's happy and healthy, I'm happy. As for any tips, um, just find something that they like. So if they like to be swaddled or if they like their arms out, um, the room temperature, the lighting, the glow dreaming definitely helps. And... Um, yeah, for us it was, I guess, um, realising that he was probably still hungry quite a lot and so he wouldn't want a nap because he wasn't full enough. So, for, yeah, that could be another um, underlying issue, I guess, as well. I really wish I knew <laughs> my six-month-old slept 35 minutes this morning. Um, maybe much the same as the stories I just posted. Maybe swaddling or feeding. I'm not really sure. It's It's hard. Unfortunately, Isaac doesn't self-settle, so we always make sure that we know that he's like in a good enough sleep in our arms while we're rocking him in the chair before we actually put him into the cot, and then we just pray that he'll stay asleep for a little while. So we don't have a like a 
full like routine so most nights he has his bowl about nine o'clock sometimes it can be 9 30 at night and goes down and he can wake anywhere from seven until um 8 30 some days so it's not a super strict routine and he we try to just fit in two to three nuts a day as long as one of them is a, like a longer one otherwise he gets cranky like he is right now i think it's time for another nap <laughs> He's stinky.